The organized labor has suspended its planned strike action and protests billed to hold today, September 28, following agreements reached with the federal government after a marathon of meeting held between representatives of labor unions and the government. The meeting, which started at about 8.30 p.m. on Sunday and spilled over till Monday morning, had Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, Minister of Labor and Employment, Chris Ngige, Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, Minister of State for Labor and Employment, Festus Kayamu, Minister of State for Power, Godwin Jediagba, and Group Managing Director of the NNPC. A communique read by the Minister of Labor and Employment, Chris Ngege, after the meeting disclosed that government agreed to suspend electricity tariff hike for two weeks, pending when a committee set up would examine the justification for the new policy. He, however, noted that the total deregulation in the downstream sector remains, adding that palliatives would be offered to Nigerian workers to cushion the effects of the burden. And to take a look at this uh, development, uh, we have uh, Chris uh, Isiguzo, President, uh, Nigerian Union of Journalists and former Chairman, uh, Committee for the Defense of uh, Humans, Malaki Wumadu. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you. Uh, I'll go straight to you, uh, Malaki. Despite the suspension, can we look at the legal implication if the strike were to be carried out uh, despite the uh, industrial court's injunction? Mr. Gumadu, can you hear me? Mr. Gumadu. All right, uh, let's go to you, um, um, Mr. Isiguzo. Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, Mr. Isigu. So uh, quickly uh, share with us um, if you feel betrayed um, with the turnout of, uh, of course, the suspension of the strike, or you're still fully in support of the unions. Well, uh, uh, once again, thanks for having me. Uh, you know uh, clearly that the Nigeria Union of Journalists, uh, we are uh, an affiliate of the Nigeria Labour Congress. And the decision taken by the Congress, uh, we completely abide by it same. Of course, you also are aware that uh, before now, we had already uh, issued a statement uh, making it clear that uh, we totally uh, support the proposed or the planned uh, industrial action uh, as announced by the, uh, the leadership of the Nigeria Labour Congress. And uh, following uh, from the uh, meeting uh, that was held between Labour and government, and of course, looking at the contents of the communique, which uh, was released at about 2.30 a.m. this morning, uh, we also completely abide by saying uh, we don't feel betrayed uh, because uh, we had reposed confidence in the leadership of the Congress and, of course, that of the Trade Union uh, uh, Congress. Uh, well, as it stands, the, the hike uh, in the electricity tariff has been suspended for a period of two weeks, uh, within which it is expected that the committee, the technical committee that has been put in place, uh, would have come up with uh, a workable strategy on how to go about uh, these uh, this uh, hike. And uh, uh, looking also at the communique, uh, government has accepted to uh, provide uh, uh, some form of uh, palliative uh, to workers. We had expected that uh, government would have uh, done this before uh, the sudden shocking uh, uh, hike in the prices of uh, 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 premium motor spirit and, of course, that of electricity tariff. It's good that, alas, uh, they have considered it needful. Uh, to sit together, review the whole situation, because looking at the worsening economic situation in Nigeria, it was so uh, uh, wrong, uh, smacks of insensitivity on the part of government to have come up with uh, such a um, uh, 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 sudden incre increment. So it's good that Lepo, uh, as expected, has done the needful, and uh, let's believe that uh, in the next uh, uh, one or two weeks that something meaningful is going to come up with the, uh, uh, from the technic technical committee's uh, report, and we'll take it from there. All right, let's go back to Mr. Ogumadu. 
despite the suspension, um, can we look at the legal implication of the strike uh, if it were to be carried out despite uh, NIC's injunction? And two questions, the two weeks that's been given, is it enough for a comprehensive review that will satisfy both parties? Mr. Gumadu, can you hear us? Okay, I think we're having a bit of a challenge uh, with a uh, connection there. So yeah. we'll uh, stay I'm, with you, um, uh, Mr. Isinguzo. Mr. Isinguzo. Yeah. I'm responding already. Oh, okay, perfect. Uh, the network can be crazy. Uh, the, did you get my question? Already. I could hear you clearly, and I'm responding. First, okay. I have thanked you for the opportunity to share this platform with you. Uh, secondly, I am taking it from your second question. Uh, and that is uh, the propriety of uh, the uh, action the fact, and protest uh, in the face of uh, the injunctions. Well, the general principle of law is that uh, in any given civilized society, once there is another court, whether in term or perpetual, that order of court ought to be complied with until it is set aside or appealed against. That is the general principle of law. And um, it makes sense to note that this is not the first time labor, in partnership with uh, the civil society and the general public, is traveling this route. In 2000. Okay, um, Mr. Gumadu, we really do have a challenge with the network from where you are. We can barely um, get what you're saying. So we'll, we'll come back to you in a bit. Please be patient. Uh, we'll go back to Mr. Isiguzo yeah. now. Uh, let me quickly um, ask this. Uh, prior to the uh, suspension of the strike, uh, Mr. Isiguzo, what was going to be your order to uh, members of the NUJ? Uh, were you going to ask them to comply and uh, does this also um, include uh, private media houses? Well, uh, we issued a statement on, on Friday uh, 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 last week before we proceeded on the weekend, uh, uh, ordering our people across Nigeria, uh, across the 37 councils that make up the, the union uh, to uh, comply with the, the directive by the Nigerian Labour Congress. Uh, of course, it's not just uh, a government-owned, uh, private-owned, everybody. Uh, but we also offered uh, more like uh, an opening because uh, coverage of the strike is also very, very important. So those that uh, were saddled with the responsibility of uh, covering uh, the industrial action were equally excused. But of course, uh, that will get, uh, be cleared from our state councils. Uh, and uh, we already gave the directive uh, uh, to comply because uh, the issues at hand, uh, the, 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 the increment uh, in uh, electri uh, electricity tariff and, of course, that of the premium motor spirit affects every Nigerian. Uh, the journalist is not immune, is not excused from it. If you go to the filling station, you also buy fuel. If you, if, you, if, you, if you are using uh, public power, of course, we make use of that. You also pay the necessary uh, uh, fee. So we are all involved. And of course, we must have to unite uh, to fight uh, such a uh, uh, situation. And uh, that's why we gave the directive. Everybody, it's not just the public, the private sector, uh, media operators, uh, we're also expected to be involved in the strike action. All right. Um, Mr. Mal, um, Ugumadu. Um, I want to ask you something, um, the specification for the two weeks um, meeting of the committee that has been set up to review all of this agreement. One of the issues that was raised was that the data from the field seems to conflict with that which was used to uh, change the, to implement the tariff uh, hike. Um, what, why do you think this is so? Is this information coming now because of labor's involvement and going forward, all the requests that labor should be part of um, the decision-making process, do you think that will uh, hold water? Mr. Gumadu, can you hear me? Okay, I, I'll, I'll put that question to you, um, Mr. Isiguzo. 
Uh, well, uh, uh, thank you. Uh, they clearly observed that the, the data out there is uh, in conflict with uh, what government is uh, is uh, putting across, and that's why the committee, uh, you know, has been put in place to work out details of all these things, so that we will not be having a unnecessary conflict, you know, with the figures, data, and what have you. Uh, I believe the the committee has that has been put in place. Uh, will be able to look at some of these nitty gritty, you know, in in resolving some of these uh, issues. Uh, we expect them to do that. Of course, you asked earlier whether the two weeks that uh, they were given will be enough uh, to be able to do a thorough job in reviewing some of these things. Well, it's better to start than not starting at all. Let them take off, and uh, uh, we believe in two weeks uh, something tangible, something different from what presently obtains. Uh, would come out of uh, the entire entire scenario. So that's what we expect. Also, uh, with regards to the National Industrial uh, Corp order, we've gone through this part in the past. You know, government would always look for ways of, um, you know, uh, trying to pigeonhole the media, the, 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 the labor, organized labor. is a normal uh, uh, part we have uh, gone through over and over. Each time the labor uh, decides to proceed on strike in protest against government's uh, decision, which uh, would be at variance with the the, the, the the wishes of the people. Government would always uh, seek for ways of uh, trying to cut corners uh, when it's normal. And uh, at the end of the day, one or two people would be uh, arrested. And all. it's a normal uh, thing. Once you are involved in uh, in labor, uh, organized labor engagement, you must go through all this. That's why you are a comrade. You know. So we are not the thought. That's why we, 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 we in unison, uh, said we are going to shut down Nigeria and uh, and do the needful. But it's good that uh, for now the whole uh, uh, process is uh, put in abeyance, and we believe that something meaningful is going to come out of this uh, plethora of engagement. You see how every facet of governance. Uh, came out in full force to ensure that the strike action did not proceed. The National Assembly, the government, everybody was involved. And uh, I want to believe that with this zeal that they have put in place to ensure that the strike action did not uh, go on, let them also deploy the same zeal in ensuring that uh, they attend to the, 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 the avalanche of problems, challenges, economic downturn, staring the, Nigeria, the, uh, the Nigerian populace in the face. Let them also deploy same, so that at the end of the day, we'll be proud that at least we now have a government that listens to the yearnings and aspirations of its citizenry. All right, I'm, I'm going to go ahead. Um, can we confirm uh, if Mr. Ogumado is uh, still with us? All right, I'm, I'm back to um, Chris Isiguzo. Um, some of the things that you mentioned, I'm going to pick up from there um, and ask, do you think uh, labor will come back to the tranches? Uh, because the agreement for now is only on electricity tariff suspension. Uh, petrol price, of course, uh, hike still remains and Nigerians will, of course, continue uh, to um, endure that suspension until there's a final word from the government on this. Um, and another you know, thing that I would like you to speak on is, uh, do you also believe in the palliatives that the government is uh, at, or, or declaring that they will release to the Nigerian uh, people in this period? Well, uh, starting with the palliatives, of course, they've already said that uh, the government is going to suspend or withdraw the tax that uh, uh, comes, uh, the average worker pays for the minimum wage, uh, the 30,000 minimum wage, the tax that they usually pay you know, pay as you aim or something like that has been uh, uh, taken off, which is, of course, a part of the palliatives that the government is announcing. If you recall the last time that uh, uh, government made an attempt at deregulating the downstream, the, 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 the petroleum industry, uh, 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 Labour also engaged with government, which uh, gave birth to Shopee, if you remember, uh, uh, that we had then. And, of course, that also, to a large extent, uh, helped to ameliorate the sufferings the, the, that, that the average Nigerian went through within that period. I, I believe that uh, they would also work out uh, something uh, uh, more enduring, uh, more meaningful in form of uh, palliatives to cushion the effect of uh, uh, this economic hardship 
that Nigerians are going through. Well, uh, whether Labour is going to return to the trees, uh, it's a matter of time. Uh, let's leave it in the hands of time. For now, uh, the uh, electricity uh, tariff hike has been uh, suspended for two weeks, and uh, that is not the end of the engagement. I, I want to believe that this, the marathon meeting that they held uh, last night that uh, spiraled uh, to early hours of this morning, 8.30 p.m. Uh, to about 2.30 a.m., uh, yielded results. And in the aspect of the uh, uh, public power uh, supply, of course, as regards the hike in uh, electricity tariff, it's not the end. If you look at the details of the communique, a whole lot of efforts were made uh, concerning the, 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 the regulation of the of the downstream sector of the I, oil economy. So um, there is a continuous discussion. Let's see how it, it, it pans out. Certainly. Um, still talking about the conversation and the decision that was made to set up that committee. Some of the resolution. Um, I understand we have uh, Mr. Ogumadu on the line now. So I'm directing this question to you. Uh, some of the resolution that was announced seemed to be an echo of what uh, the Speaker of the House, uh, Gwajabia Mila, um, had indicated earlier. For instance, uh, the reduction of taxes on minimum wage, uh, the issuance of palliatives. And then they are talking about um, um, setting up um, um, some sort of scheme for workers to get access to petrol, uh, public transportation, to cushion the effect of petrol. One wonders, aside this palliatives that has been announced that we already know, there doesn't seem to be a new uh, resolution. And if they are saying they are going to be getting palliatives for uh, the citizens on the petrol um, um, issue, does that imply that there might not be much change uh, on the price of petrol? I'm, I'm just straining my ears to hear you. I can barely hear you. Uh, we, we apologize for that. It's the network. I'm actually almost screaming out. Uh, what did you get? Okay. Um, we still right. seem to have an issue with uh, Mr. Ogumadu's uh, connection. So I don't know if you got uh, some of the, um, what I asked in the question, Mr. Isiguzo. Well, uh, you may have to repeat that because uh, I, I removed my ears since you were talking to my uh, colleague. Okay, I'm, I'm basically talking about the, some of the uh, resolution that was announced in the communique, um, the resolution of the meeting that you talked about that ended at 2 a.m., that there will be palliatives, there will be tax relief for minimum wage when it does come. And they are also talking about creating some sort of relief uh, for citizens uh, when it, to cushion the impact of the uh, possible hike in patrol uh, going forward. I'm asking... None of these seems new because um, the Speaker of the House has told us already that these were contained in the budget and asked that Labour should not go ahead um, on strike. Does it mean that we might not get any real resolution at the end of the day that the hike in petrol will still go on? Because they're talking of palliatives, not a reduction. Well, uh, you know, the issue of if you get involved in the discussion that revolves around... Uh, uh, the regulation, you would see that it's something that is very, very necessary. And nobody's completely against it anyway. Uh, but we need to put something in place so that uh, the effects of such uh, a government policy will not be so much on the average Nigerian. That is just our, our position, you know. And uh, I believe that uh, what they are working out, uh, you say that we just normal the usual part. Yes, nothing has changed. It's still the same part. The speaker engaged with uh, the organized labor, and of course, the outcome of that meeting, uh, he, he presented to the, 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 the enlarged meeting between government and the representatives of uh, the Nigerian Labor Congress and the Trade Union Congress. So it's just the same thing, but we believe that what is being worked out now will be a lot uh, uh, better. We may not necessarily we may not necessarily see a reduction in the prices of uh, premium motor spirit. We may not, uh, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. And uh, I'm always an optimist when it comes to such engagements. I'm not going to be so pessimistic whether it's not going to work, maybe it's not going to clash, maybe it's a way of uh, hounding us or trying to pigeonhole us and all that. I don't want to go through those parts. But because the leadership 
we have in labor at the moment is a very uh, committed one, serious one, dedicated and ready to defend uh, the, the, the people. So let's see how it pans out by the time the committee gets to work. Uh, the government has already been asked to facilitate the removal, you know, uh, not just uh, reducing, the removal of tax on, on minimum wage. So we also believe that uh, by the close of work today or tomorrow or so, that that is going to be affected to further buttress the seriousness of government in all these engagements they are having uh, uh, with the organized labor. President of uh, the Nigerian Union of Journalists, uh, Chris Siguzo, thank you so much for speaking with us. And of course, uh, uh, Malaki Ugumado also, even if uh, it was a problem getting the uh, yeah, connection. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. You know, I, I don't know, sometimes you wonder why due diligence is left for the last minute. All of these consultations could have been done right if before. the labor was carried along from the beginning. Um, um, another thing that I think, you know, we could also, you know, point out is, and it's one of the things that you had brought up, um, if we're talking about a two weeks uh, suspension uh, to this, if we're talking about palliatives, are the palliatives going to go run forever or are they going to stop at some point? Questions um, that needs and, clarification. And, you know, what, what, one thing that I would also always talk about is how much faith do Nigerians still have in the Nigerian Labour Congress, are they still excited any time the, the NLC says, you know, we're taking a stand? Um, now, well, these are things, you know, that might dent that image that the NLC has if the Nigerian public do not get the answers that they seek. Well, let's see what this two weeks, I mean, uh, Mr. Isuguzo said we should be hopeful, but it is worrying indeed that uh, we don't seem to um, agree on issues until the very last minute. This is just a, a relief for now, as we said in our introduction. Yes. It's just a relief. We don't know what's going to happen in two weeks if they're going to go back and say we're going to go on strike. Let's see what happens in the days we'll ahead. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.